Hi, Bo here from High Tech Investment and welcome back to the channel. In today's uh, review, we're going to have a closer look at our Profit Retriever, EA, robot, whatever you want to call it. So it has now been more than three months since Expert Forex has launched this particular robot and there's been quite a bit of hype about it. We have done a massive research and also shared it already, if you haven't seen it, so on our webpage and we also introduce a weekly news report where we basically show the results that we have. But in this review we're also going to go into a bit more detail how exactly it has been working so far and what are the profits and a few other tips and tricks that you can take with you today. So let's have a look and see what we're going to go through here. So the main steps we're going to go through here today is first of all the profit retriever results how the different results are for the different um, trading we do and we actually trade um, individual metals uh, indexes and also forex and then we're going to go behind the strategy so behind the profit retriever so there's multiple strategies that can be set up with this particular one we show you which one we use and why we use it and then obviously also execution of trades basically providing a bit of details and info on how the robot actually works and some other things that you might also have to be aware of. The trading process that we are using, so which uh, we have shared in previous videos and we will definitely share it again because it is very important, especially for new traders to understand that you don't just slap on a robot to a trading account with real money and then hope for the best. So there's an entire process that you have to go through first and that is definitely where you can save a lot of money. On top of this, we will also show you where you can find more help. So if you are really interested in this, um, there's a couple of places you can go. Obviously, we have gathered a range of material on our sites ourselves. And then obviously we also have a couple of tips on how we actually try and maximize our profit for the real life trading. So let's get started and go through them one by one. The data on this website is for your information only. It does not constitute professional investment advice or advice on tax or legal matters. Please remember that all investment strategies and investments involve risk of loss. Nothing contained in this video should be construed as investment advice. Any reference to an investment's past or potential performance is not, and should not be construed as, a recommendation or as a guarantee of any specific outcome or profit in the future. So in order to get a better idea of how this robot actually works, uh, you can't just have one uh, type of robot with the one currency pair. Yeah? You need to spread out, you need to try a lot of different things, and from there on you see which one is working, which one is not. So what we've done here, and we have obviously built up over time, uh, a range of trading portfolio. So all trading um, on the live demo accounts, $10,000 demo accounts. So we started off with the gold versus USD as we have. That one proved actually to be a bit difficult sometimes to test. And we started off a bit premature because we actually wanted to show some results. It did crash, um, but after we took our sweet time and set it up correctly, it has been working quite well. And after that, we also have our silver versus USD. Silver versus USD is basically our high jumper. It has done very, very well, and we're going to have a closer look exactly how well it has done. Another one that has done quite well is the British Pounds USD. Uh, also massive improvements, and they has also more than doubled the account. CAT USD, which is hiding behind my picture here, is uh, on the Evan side and British Pounds AUD similar. As you can see, we are now using different types of Forex. We're using different types of currencies. So not always just USD, which is the major part in here. But we try to spread the joy in order to make sure that when we trade, we trade different currency pairs that might uh, have a slighter effect than if they are all USD, uh, British pounds or USD Aussie pounds, so on and so on. Obviously, there's only so many interesting uh, currencies to trade. We have found these that seems to work. We have done a lot more tests in the background. Some of them we haven't found some decent results that uh, would work over time. 
these are the 11 ones we have now. USD and 30 index, we've also been trading for quite a long time. That actually recently blew and we're going to show you exactly why it did so. It's actually not the robot's fault, it's more us and the uh, test that we did behind the scenes. And we're somewhat happy that this happened because it told us a few things about the robot and what we need to take care of and how uh, not to set them up in the future. Euro uh, Japanese has also done quite well. And then most probably our most troubled child, the uh, Aussie USD, which is, uh, can be quite volatile. And that also means that we've got to be very careful of the settings. It uh, has broken down a couple of times. And uh, we believe now we've tried some different settings and we'll see if this is going to be a more permanent solution. New Zealand uh, versus the Swiss francs is a very nice one. We see some good development on this one. And then Euro AUD, same way, and British pounds, Japanese. So the bottom three is uh, a bit new to the trading part here. So, but all in all, um, they provide good feedback, every single one, different types of fluctuations in the market. So let's go and have a look at the major one. And the first one we have here is actually the silver USD. And recently here it passed $25,000, so 150%. This account we actually started off with $10,000. And within the three months that we've been testing this one out, so we have managed to get past the uh, 25,000 mark and as you can see in the bottom left down here so highlighted in yellow it's at 25,983 or the equity is 839 so uh, which is basically the one we need to to work out so if we have a look at the chart up here so you'll see this uh, one sale that has come in and basically there's only one trade it's going down and then it's taking the profit 250 dollars and as soon as that one is done it's going to look for the next one so it checks the moving average and then depending on how that is set up in this particular case it goes back and now it tells it so to uh, again do a sell it does simply one entry and comes out again at 250 dollars so that is the easy part that is when the ea follows the trend so what happens if the trend goes the wrong way? So if the MA is uh, getting fooled and we have a good example up here where you can see the blue marking. So it's basically uh, the blue stripes that you have here. So this is the first entry for this particular one. And it sets, unfortunately, the uh, trend is uh, going down and this is actually set up in grids so that means when it hits the next grid depending on what the gaps are for these grids which is also set up within the ea it will do another buy and it will continue to do buys all the way through so every single time it hits the grid again it will do another one and here it avoided just setting another grid so it will continue to to do so and um, what will then happen is that once the trend switches over so it will not set any more um, trades because the grid is already filled from top to bottom here and then it's basically looking for the first way out which means that we take a small profit and that's what this basically this little um, line here will uh, indicate to the robot saying okay uh, we want to get out of this trade because obviously we went the wrong way and instead of waiting for the $250, as you've seen before, uh, we add in small amounts. And obviously that is backtested exactly what that is. And then it will close. And in this particular case, uh, it will close uh, around the uh, $30 um, mark. And then it will try and look for the next trade. So that's the uh, quick and easy way of explaining how exactly this one works. So let's have a look um, because all our accounts is also set up with FX Blue. So let's go and have a quick look and see what the stats are telling us regarding all these trades. So for the people that haven't seen this before, this is FX Blue, and this is basically another way of um, checking, verifying your accounts also against others because you obviously don't want to have your MT4 platform 
uh, looked over at other people or have access to. But if you want to share your results with um, friends, family, or like in this case here, so on the YouTube channel, this is a perfect place to go where you then have all the details. People can go in and follow the trades day by day. So what we are looking at here is the um, silver US dollars, as you can see down here. And this is the only thing that is being traded on this particular account. And uh, you will see here that this is the demo account. So this is one of the test accounts that we're using to uh, get the right robot settings before it actually goes live and with real money. And this is what uh, is the important section. So the balance we now have is 25,983. Uh, we normally always have to go with the equity because if you wanted to take your money out today, stop trading, this is actually the amount that you needed. So the 25,776 is more like it. It has a floating minus at the moment and we can see here the close profits, the free margin that the robot has, margin in use, and the margin levels in percentage last updated. So obviously it's not too long ago. And then we have further stats down here. It tells you the total return since we started trading is 157%. The monthly returns, which is within the FX Blue system, it has calculated this to more than 35% or 7.5% per week. So quite good. The trade wins is also high, 71.5% and the profit factor is 2.3. So already here you get a lot of information. Total pips that we have um, profited from is 2,126 and trades per day is 2.2. The historical value for this account is 94 days. So just over three months. And then you can go in and see the risk rewards ratios. The worst day we had is minus 123. Uh, most probably because this was in a, a drawdown at the time. The worst week, 1.4, and the worst month was 1,659. Risk of ruin has been set to zero. Uh, trading length is, uh, this is again an average that FX Blue goes in and does, and 42.3. And then average results will be 77, and average wins is $190. So this is a dollar account. On top of this, you have an additional stats that you can go and have a look at. So which is very, very useful. Again, you see the history, you see the profit factor, the monthly and weekly returns here, the account in USD, and then the current uh, floating profits. And if you go in and have a look, you can see um, which state. So the account was started on. So. This is ours, so let's go to the date, and this is the date one here. So it goes back on the 18th of March, and then it's basically trading every single day. Um, obviously, there's quite a few of these, and uh, we want to have a closer look, and then the weeks are better. So if you have a look, then the net profit is the one. So there's just a little blip here, I see, and I believe there was a small little trade that had really nothing to do with the robot itself other than just to try and activate it. Um, so here in the last couple of weeks, you can see we started off with a small profit here, and then it's been at uh, 1800, 1100, 1500, so a couple of thousand all the way through. And then if we go down here, we can see a small uh, drawdown that we had in that particular week. And then the week after it came back strong, so uh, 1800, and then Last week it was 705, so again below MH week. And on the side here, you can also see the percentage, so quite high on some of the months, 15.9, and this is per week. Yeah, don't forget this is not per month, this is per week. 14.4, 12. Last week where we saw below MH was 2.8, and this particular week we are currently at 0.7%. So this seems to be a very effective EA and also the settings we have managed to use. And in here, you can then see the monthly results. So this is for March, 1,600 and more than 16%. So we have April, which was absolutely uh, flying, 7,800 or 66% on return. So quite good. And then again, we did quite well in May 
and also here in June it uh, looks to be quite well. We are only a thousand away from uh, from what we had before, so so we're already up more than uh, ten percent. On top of this, we can see the buy and sells. So obviously it does not equal amount here. So but it doesn't really matter as long as we're winning. So and then we have the simples where again you can see the amount of winners that we have, the total trades, more than 71%. So that is obviously also excellent news. And if we have a look at the chart, it looks slightly different from one the other one, but basically you have a good steady progress. And this particular flat line you have here, that is basically a drawdown that the robot went into. And that means that it doesn't set any new ones until that is closed. So similar to what you saw on the blue lines, where it continues to set in trades, and then it basically only closes the trade when it's back into positive. And that's where you get these pauses in between, where the robot is not making much money, but the whole idea is that it's not going to blow the account. That's the most important part. So. Let's go and have a closer look exactly to see uh, how it operates and what system it operates after. Now, in some of our previous videos, we uh, did take a look and show you exactly how the profit retrieval works using the Martingale strategy. And then a lot of traders are already running away from this particular video. But uh, just hang on tight and I'll explain why this strategy actually works. So the martingale part actually comes from part of the casino and uh, you can use that on the roulette wheel as you see here. So you have a range of 50% red, 50% black and then obviously you have the house zero. Uh, even on some American roulette wheels you actually have two zeros which gives the house even a bigger chance of winning your money. So everybody has different systems and in this particular case, the system for the Martingale strategy here is very, very simple. You continue to hold on and you, for example, only bet on red. And if you lose, you're going to bet on red again because it, it has to change. And if it doesn't change, you continue to bet on red again. Um, but every single time you obviously have to uh, get your money back and I'll explain how they do that. So it's a 50-50 um, buy or sell similar to what we have in here. Um, but the strategy that we're going to use here today is a reverse strategy. And I will try and show you the difference between the normal Martingale and the reverse strategy because there is a huge uh, management uh, difference regarding risk. So if we have a look at the Mountain Gale strategy, so the normal part you have, you have number of trades over here. So one risk per trade, and then you have the results and the equity. So we're starting off with 10,000. We go to the casino, we have $10,000. And uh, one of the strategies here is basically you bet a dollar on uh, red or equal numbers. And that particular case, you um, lose out. So now in order to get that one back, you have to double up your, um, your trade, or in this case, your gambling. And that will now be uh, $2. And um, if that now fails, you have now lost $3 here. So in order to get that back, you now have to uh, go in and bet $4. And you have to double up all the way through, as you can see here. And uh, the normal Martingale strategy uh, will go up quite quickly. So 4 to 8 to 16, 32. And you have to remember one thing that even though you are now up, let's say, at uh, 8 times and uh, every single time you have bet on red, it actually came out black. Um, you are now betting double up $128. But all you're actually getting, if you're winning, is the dollar that you had in the beginning, the dollar you actually received, because here you have just managed to lose $127. So obviously, as you are betting higher and higher, um, the reward is very, very small, which means the risk is obviously um, coming to be a huge, huge factor. And as you can see, after 13 times here, uh, you're up betting more than $4,000. 
and after that you are running out of capital. Not only that, but also some casinos have a ceiling and there's actually a reason for that. Because if um, people are rich enough, they will win uh, every single time. So that is the normal part of the Martingale strategy. And I've tried to explain it a bit here. So the first one we have, so when it comes to trading, is the red numbers you have here. And for this particular part, we go in and uh, in this case we wanted to buy. So we buy on the first lot here and we start off on the Martin Gale strategy on the low side as you saw before. So let's say we use 0.1 lot. So the price continues to go down. So we do another buy here and this time around we have to double it again. So now it will be 0.2. If we continue down here. So um, to buy one more time. So again, this is the grid part so um, that we use when we're in trading. So we set a grid. So depending on how many pips the price has moved from last time. And now you're ending up at 0.4. So now in total you have basically 0.7 lots. So now they're starting to become bigger altogether. But on top of that, you now also again, the price continues to go against you. You now have to put in 0.8 of a lot in order to have this happen. And if still nothing comes all the way down here and now you're up in 1.6 lot, so quite uh, heavy. Now the good part here is that when you're using a strategy like this, you only need a small retracement. And the small retracement is basically what you see here, that the price started to move in the right direction again and maybe it'll continue to go down. But with the uh, normal marketing strategy, you will be able to take out your profit quite quick because you are doubling up your lot size. That means that even small movements, when you have a lot of 1.6, you don't have to get all of them up into positive areas in order to make a profit. And that is basically the concept of this. So that means that once you are here, once you have a small profit, you close all of them at the same time and you run away with that profit and then you start trading again. So now the reverse part, so which is what we're using on the silver USD and where we have a start lot and you also have a reduction in the lot size. So that means we are going the opposite direction. So we start high and in this particular case, the start lot here, when we started off is 0.2. And then as the price works against us, we are actually lowering uh, the lot size instead. So the next time it will set a trade of 0.18 and then 1.6, 1.4 and 1.2. So again, same grid, but now re basically reverse part. Now the um, minus about this one here is that because you are using smaller lot sizes as you go further down, you will basically ask for a bigger retracement in order to get the profit. So that means that the normal Martingale strategy will click here. So where the reverse one, you will most probably have to go a bit higher. So this is not a mathematical correct graph, but this is just to indicate you how the system actually works. So if you get the uh, 0.12, the 0.14, so you have already um, 0.26 uh, in there and all you need is a small little retracement or uh, zero on this particular one. And that means that this one here is now bigger than the initial lot you set and the robot will basically close this off. So how does this work um, in real life? And we've taken another one that basically shows this again. Um, this is an entire different graph for the British pounds USD and as you can see this one has also done extremely well. So this has passed $20,000 so in three months time here also it has done more than 100%. Um, this graph is built up in two different sections so you can see there's very short trades, a lot of trades. And um, here we have small little ones where basically they put in sales, the price went um, the wrong way and it adds up 
a couple of cells, three in this case, and as soon as you can see it's almost on the line on the middle one, it will basically close it off. It all depends on the settings, how much profit um, you want to take. Um, and then it goes here very, very quickly. Over time, you have another buy here that the one is set, but the price is going down. So the grid will open up another one and the price continues to go down. And once there's a small retracement, as you can see, it will cash in and then it will start a new set of trades. And it continues to do that. We have another one here with a sell. Basically, it's looking at the moving average before and that was going down. So it says, OK, it must be continuing down. Um, but there's a retracement in the market at that particular time and it opens up again on the grid size four. And then when you have um, again a change in price, it will go in, it'll have a look at all four of these and they say, okay, when we're in plus at this much, and in this particular case, it's most probably around the uh, $20 um, mark, it will close off the trade and then start a new one. So we have a couple of um, ones indicated here also where we have some, some spike and uh, very busy times. And you can see that the price has gone against it here. And again, it continues to set the sell price. And then when there's a retracement, it's going to cash it in. Here we have a longer one with a more uh, heavy drawdown. And again, you can see the um, pattern in between. So where you have one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, yeah. And um, basically this is the center line that it would have gone in and, uh, and said, okay, as soon as the price comes back, it'll close all these with a loss and all these with profits. But overall, that will then, in this particular case, it looks like 50, 53 and 70 cents. Yeah, so, so $53 for that particular trade. And then you have an additional ones and you continue to trade all the time. There will always be minimum one trade open for this profit retrieval. Going back into the FX Blue for this currency pair, you'll see here that the uh, balance so is more than 20,000 and even with the equity at the moment, 20,569. Floating is currently minus 206 and you can see the graph with the initial deposit. So back on the 20th of March and then it has a very nice curve going all the way up. Small little drawdown here. Again, close profits, free margin at the moment. So for the robot to trade with is more than 20,000. Margin in use is only $60, margin level more than 34,000%. It's another one of our demo accounts that we use to set up for the live trading. Last updates when it is done here, so not too long ago. And then we have the total returns in percent, again from the FX Blue, 105%. Monthly returns for this over time, so this is a bit more of the accurate part, 25%, which is um, basically what we're looking for. So we are looking for somewhere around um, 10 to 25 percent. We don't really want more because uh, that just raises the risk. But the weekly return here is also 5 percent, which is uh, quite good for this particular robot all the way through. The trade wins is a bit lower than what you saw before, but 68.8 percent is definitely not bad. The pips that we have managed to get is 7,328 trades per day um, is a lot more, as you can see, almost three times as the silver. And then history, we have 94 days of history. The risk reward um, factors and ratios that are in there, the worst day we had, the worst week is 129, the worst month is 773. So, um, and then trading links are 11 hours, average results, as you see here also, if um, you're into your stats. If you go and have a look at the uh, statistics again here, you'll see again the uh, 94 days, the profit factor, the monthly returns that are here, the weekly returns, similar to what we just saw before. And then if we have a closer look at the uh, the days, so we can see that they started on the 21st and you can see individual days, 
how they are developing. Where you have some smaller minuses is basically not, it, uh, it doesn't really lose out so on the trades, but obviously there is a fee to be paid when we are in minus and that goes back to the broker and that's what basically this indicates. So on a weekly scale, which is a bit easier to see, and also when you measure up the robot, it uh, gives a nicer view. And we can see that even the first week we had here, more than 5%, and then a couple of hundred each month. And you have to remember also that as the market changes, we are also changing and adjusting some of the robot settings, depending on how we can see it's going. And um, we have this is back in mid-May, we had $1,464 or 10% in one week, so quite well. Dropped again from uh, down to 4 and 2.8%. And then the last couple of weeks have been uh, quite good. Again, 1,300 and 2,000 here last week or 11.3%. So um, quite, quite good numbers um, all the way through. And that is basically what we are looking for. The stability of the robots so is obviously quite important. So when you look at it on a monthly basis, it becomes more and more evident that uh, it will trickle in quite uh, steadily. And um, that is quite impressive what we have seen here. So April, May and June is what you have. March is a short month, so only about 10 days. But it still did 7.7% and the rest they're all in the 20%, so which is a top here of 29.8% or 3,886 dollars. So these are quite impressive numbers. Again, when we look at the buy and sell, obviously they're not entirely equal, but they seem to be doing quite well no matter what. So all in all, um, we have 616 trades, we have 424 winners and 192 losers. Open and close trades, we can also see here. And when we look at the chart, that is what we basically want to see. We want to see a nice curve and we can see this is the the big week where we had an additional funds flowing in and uh, once the robot and the MA lines up very nicely and goes in the trend together and there's definitely a lot of money to be had uh, very very quickly. So how does this trading process actually work? Well we've been over this um, before but this is very important to understand again that this is a process that is absolutely vital for your success if you want to have success. The people that actually believe that they can buy a robot, find a pair of settings from a friend, a neighbor or somebody else that they knew on, online and just put them in and then they're going to make them rich. Sorry, it doesn't work like that. Yeah. So you need to put in your own work. You need to put some hard work in there and you need to understand the robot. Otherwise, this will never work. So you start in the gray or um, green section up here. So you experiment with strategies and you have your back testing on the MT4 platform. You test uh, in this particular case, we normally test minimum six months behind, find out um, the different results that we have. And then we take the best settings and we put them into live demo accounts as you have seen and I've shown you here. Then we start trading them and then we analyze the uh, trading results that some of them might have uh, too big of um, drawdowns some basically completely fail but the ones that we um, want to have a closer look at we put them into our hospital basically that will mean that uh, in my case I'm analyzing the settings what we can do differently we might run a few extra back tests for other times and periods so to make sure that we we get the most volatile periods in there and then we come back with the fixed settings and that means that we then update the uh, settings also so and then have another look at it see if it turns out better the fail settings that are simply not working at all we obviously put them in the trash bin so from there on we basically take the best ones the ones that we are more comfortable with the more with the lower drawdowns and then we put them into a live uh, account portfolio. So not only one robot, but several robots. 
and I will get back to you on that also a bit later in this video. So these are the best strategies that we have and obviously hopefully they will work. If they are failing we need to know exactly why but we have both the live accounts with the real money and we have the demo accounts running at the same time. So we can have a closer look. We can send them back into the hospital. I can have a closer look at them. We will update them in the demo accounts and hopefully um, if it's that bad, we will take it off the live account and then until the demo account is working optimum again, it will then be loaded one more time. And that is the basic, basic essence of how you have to treat um, your trading accounts. This is an ongoing process. So we have a couple of VPS servers that are continuous running tests on different days and times. So the robots are never standing still. They are never setting up with the exact same um, settings. We are not using uh, lotto settings, which means that uh, very specific settings. We are using general settings that we know can work over time. As I said, more than six months time. But once in a while, things are going wrong anyway. And I mentioned a bit earlier that the um, um, 30 index that we also traded um, blew up. And that learned us a very good lesson and we'll have a closer look at that one. So I took a couple of pictures in here. So this is the open part of the um, trading. So from the um, MX4 platform, so you can see here the US 30 index on the 15 minute chart. And uh, now that we are that, the robot is all, always working on the 15 minutes. So it doesn't really matter what you set up in your um, what chart, if it's uh, one minute or one hour, it will continue to trade on the 15 minutes based on the grid that you have set. So in this particular case, um, we had a buy setting here and then we had a sideways market for a bit. And after that, I'm not exactly sure why we have one on the same level here. So, um, but anyway, I just highlighted them so you could see that the grid is here, another one here. But as you'll notice, the grid is narrowing in. So it's getting smaller and smaller as we go along. And that is one of the settings that we used, particular for this US 30, in order to see if we can squeeze a bit more profit out of it. And um, we still had the reverse strategy. So that means that we are going down with the initial lot size. But what we also did is we actually reduced the grid size. So every single time we put a new in, uh, the grid was just a bit smaller and it got a bit smaller and smaller. And on the back testing side, that should have shown that just a small retracement, similar to if you go up in lot size, that would have made things a whole lot better. We've gotten out of this trade. Unfortunately, as you can see, there was not much retracement at the time that we got. It had more and more and only this small little retracement that came here on Friday. So the little gap you have here uh, is basically the weekend. So where the price ended on Friday and where it started on Monday. So let's have a closer look and see this. There you have the gap and we came from up here. So you can see the gap is still quite large from here to there and another one here. So but then as the percentage comes down, that means that the trades are coming closer and closer. And the small little retracements was definitely not enough to basically we should have most probably been up somewhere around here in order to close the trade off. It didn't happen. And then on Monday, you can see that the price dropped quite a bit. So it put quite a few trades in and even more here. And you can't even count how many there is. Um, we only caught it, as you can see, somewhere down here and stopped the percentage grid. And this is a good indication that one is down here and means that that particular grid. So that's the distance it should have been. So going closer again, you can see the setting was done here. And this is where things are really speeding up. On Monday, this started off and so many trades on this particular one that is almost impossible to, to see. So one, two, three, and then you have an additional ones here. And the grid for the index here now is down to the minimum six, but the US 30 index works a bit differently compared to if you're on the Forex and you have a grid of six. 
So you've got to be very careful, especially trading metals and indexes. But this showed us that um, this was a very good example of what we thought on the back testing. It looked uh, very promising and we could squeeze a bit more money out of it. But when you see this on uh, live demo accounts, you actually realize what it does, how fast it can actually go wrong. And uh, that is definitely not something that we can recommend. So exactly how does this, this look? Well, we can't even fit all of the trades in that was done on this particular one. You can see the lot size we started off with here is uh, 0.1. And then we have a reduction in it so it goes down for the next trends it goes down percentage wise and it comes down to the bottom here where this is the minimum you can do on the um, us 30 index so um, 0.01 and you can see it's basically just setting every single one after that and having a closer look on the uh, price over here you can see that at the time it was down at minus 2700, 2100 here. So for the second entry, 1700. And obviously this is a lot of money. The account was at that particular time, it was around um, 20,000. So or, or almost there. So that wouldn't have been a problem. But because we had so many trades in here, and even though you can see many of the trades are very close, so they're all basically uh, 100 and then 90 and then uh, 80 down here. And because there is so many, uh, we basically run out of money on the account and the account is blown. And that is obviously um, something that you have to take into consideration. So even though the back testing is telling you that this is an excellent way to make money, when you see trade in real life, you actually understand the dangers of the robot, uh, what should and should not be in, and that's exactly why you need to trade so over long periods of time to see the different market situations. So what can you do to basically try and, uh, and work around this and what can you do to make sure that you don't make all these mistakes? Um, also basically doing a tracking on the fast lane, well, you can become a member of the um, premium forum for Expert Forex. We are, and we're getting a lot of benefits out of this. So first of all, um, the yellow one highlighted here is the main parts just for the profit retriever. Obviously the rest is also quite interesting. So, but the 60% off for the members discount for the robots is definitely a very good start. Most of the robots cost somewhere between uh, two and three hundred dollars depending on how you're paying for them also uh, active forum discussions and problem solving is something that is used quite a lot so different traders have issues or traders have great positive feedbacks where they want to show exactly what they've done how it works and um, share their ups and downs and then we have premium optimized set files um, with them also now also for the profit retriever here and you can go in and have a look and see what alex's optimized set files look like and that gives you a, a bit of an idea of where to start so the profit retriever setting and strategy forum is also a specific one um, so plenty of ideas of exactly how it works and then you have members competition, which is currently on the way uh, for the uh, make money robot and also the profit retriever. And it's a continuous one at the moment where we are also competing. And this is where you are trying and testing out and you're also looking uh, into what the other traders are doing. If it's sustainable, if there's a strategy that you haven't missed, that is where to go and get it. And then last but not least here is number 15 the zero to hero course this is a general trading course for robots set up by alex and you also have this one for free when you sign up with him so for the premium forum settings you have as the strategy says here more than 1500 settings and it covers everything from uh, crypto metal forex uh, and you also have smooth equity charts you have different strategies low drawdown day trading things like this they're all covered in some of the videos he has previously made 
On top of that, there is also the um, trading forum where you can start for as little as seven dollars per month if you pay in for the year. Otherwise, it can be more than uh, doubled, so about thirty, or I think it's going to to forty soon per month. But considering if you are uh, serious about your trading, I don't think you can be without this one for very long. So now what does all these set files look like and what are you actually interested in? Because if you go into Alex's site and we will have a quick look on how exactly that works, you will see set files in here and telling you that if you backtested this um, and for the dates that we have, the dates are up here. So it says from um, 1st of September 2021 until 26th of March. We did a test and that is a file that you can save and show to your friends how much money you could have made. And this one here is more than 58,000 and that sounds great. Profitable trades is more than 70%, also very great. And then you have your maximum drawdown of only 20%, which also sounds great, except for the little drawdown where it says 9,333. So now all of a sudden you have to remember that most accounts that you set up, so especially what is recommended also, you start with a $10,000 account. So having a setting like this um, sounds very nice because 20%, that means that the drawdown, you can see the little humps that you have here along the line. If that happened up here where you already have $50,000 in your account, um, it's not a big deal. But if it happens down here at the bottom where you only started with your 10, you can literally blow your account in just uh, minutes or a couple of days at max. So you got to be very careful and also look at the numbers itself. So with that in mind, let's have a quick look at the expert Forex uh, and what you actually get um, with the profit retriever settings. So we've gone into the full database, so where all the more than 1500 set files are located. So this is the holy grail, or at least part of it. So um, what you then do is you find your EA, which ones um, you are interested in. And in this particular case, we look for the profit retriever. And then you have a section also here that will explain to you, you have indexes, forexes on the side over here. And if we just pop this one in, we can see that you have a good uh, balance. So most of the ones, the German 30 seems to be the best one. And this is a profit over a year, profit of 798,000. So sounds very interesting, of course. And then the different strategies. So the low drawdown strategy is obviously um, not making as much money, but as you can see on the UK um, 100, there's found some settings that are quite good and even with low drawdowns. XP 500 and so on and so on. And you can obviously um, use the different ones. So you have a massive amount of settings for different uh, Forex pairs. And as you can see, some things are working and some are not. So there's a huge difference. And if you have a look at, uh, let's take the uh, US 30 drawdown then. So, and see what can be done with this. And if we have a closer look, so where did it go? It went here. So in this particular case, 7,685 trades in one year. And then the drawdown is 37,000. So that sounds like an awful lot. Um, but let's go and have a look and see exactly what it looks like. So in here, when you click on these, it will basically tell you the symbols that you're interested in. And in this particular case, it will be indexes. And again, it comes out here and tells you, OK, these are the indexes that uh, is there. And you can see the profits that are in the US 30 that we wanted to have a look at. If you want to download the files, they're basically here. You click on your MT4 or MT5 and they will download and you have them in two seconds. You can see the profitable trades. So um, that is in here. So that is quite high, 80% almost. So quite astonishing. 
and below you will then find a range of charts that will show you again exactly what can be done and this is the RC200 it's a very nice graph that you have going all the way up here and this will show the the German 30 so obviously that one is not working you have the NDX100 so not and the XP500 here with every tick it looks like that is actually working out okay UK100 that we have here is also a very nice and smooth equity curve all the way through and that is something definitely to uh, have a closer look at and the last one that we have is here the US30 with every tick and you find it in here and basically what you do is you have a click and it will then tell you all the settings all the setups and you can also show all the uh, trades that it has done in that particular time and see if this is something you want to trade so you are now looking at the excel from basically when we started back in week 12 and you can see over the last many weeks up until week 24 here uh, we started off back in week 12 simply just with the four trading pairs and obviously then we have added more as we went along and became more comfortable with the settings with the robots and basically building up an entire portfolio over the last couple of months so every single one is from week to week we have the gold up here and then we have the silver and then all the way down at the bottom we have the total sum of each week and you'll notice sometimes that you have a zero that could be either because it's gone into a drawdown and not delivering anything or it has crashed like we also had for the uh, US 30 at one point here or the Aussie US dollars. Then we stop trading them and then once we have new and better settings that we think will work in the future then we'll start it up again. So this is basically the total sums we have from week on week. You can see week 24 here. So we have all the robots running apart from the US 30, which blew up here. And it made about $8,582. So in this particular week, so quite nice. And 7.8% in total, so quite well. And then the total sum as we have for all the robots that have been working ever since we started 57,374 or 63.75% and then on top of this we then select the top five that you also see in our news report from the particular weeks every week and they are just highlighted in here then so for that week it's the gold part so it's the cat swiss francs the uh, bridge pounds usd and basically uh, aussie usd and then also your japanese and then when we look at the top five each week, uh, we can see that uh, just the top five out of the entire 11 has made 6,263.85 or 12.5%. And that's what you will see here now that uh, we present every single week. And that is basically to try and optimize your profits so you continue to have a look on your weekly basis on how well the individual robots are doing on forex pairs indexes metals and then you try and grab the best ones that are currently working in this market they will change over time and then you simply have to stop the robots and add new ones on that seems to be doing better and better that way you don't have to uh, run 11 live accounts with 10,000 each obviously that's a heavy burden $110,000 so you can instead go in and simply just set up um, three portfolios in the beginning or five. Or so this chart is the one that we normally show in the weekly news reports released Friday mornings. And these are the top five that we normally pick out. So for the uh, live trading. And as you can see, the British USD, as we saw here before, more than $2,000 or 21%. The CAT Swiss francs has done extremely well also compared to recent weeks, so more than 1,500 or 15.5%. Gold is back, so more than 9.1%, so great to see. Aussie USD, which is currently behaving, let's hope it's going to continue like this and the settings are working. Time will tell, 8.7%. And then the Euro Japanese, which has not been here for too long, $854 and 8.5%. So 
if we narrow down the best EAs, um, and that's what you have to pick out from, from your selections, so on a weekly basis or a monthly basis, you can see that despite the overall profits of just over 8,000, these five has actually made the $6,263 or 12.5%. So you can narrow it down, not spending $110,000, but spending maybe um, 50,000 or even better, you go on to cent accounts and that will basically um, take your um, overall cost down by double zeros. So um, Alex from Expert Forex have a couple of videos on this and that's where we can also help you. So let's have a quick look and see how we can help and assist you from our side and through our website. So we are now on the High Tech Investment website and you go to Portfolio and then you scroll down through the portfolio until you find the Profit Retriever here. Click and then you'll have a short explanation on what the Profit Retriever is all about. And we also have currently three videos and this one will be the fourth that are being added to the site showing you what we've done, how we traded it and there's even a bit of an explanation on how set up, get started to trade your own robots that you can uh, enjoy. And from here on it is Expert Forex videos that we have added also to the website the ones that has some uh, information regarding the profit retriever, something that you can actually benefit from. So feel free to go in and have a look through this instead of going on the Expert Forex page, where obviously it can be a bit difficult because he's talking about a lot of different robots. So go and have a look. Um, and this will basically tell you the different types of settings, what is being used. Here we also have the uh, the cent account from 200 into 20,000 and this is the one uh, that we recommend if you want to start with small amounts then that's definitely the best way to go and these are the earliest ones at the bottom and then the newest ones at the top. On top of this you will see all our trading that we have in here so and you can click every single one of all these links here and it will take you straight into the FX Blue site, as I just showed you before, and you can watch all the trades to see if this looks like something that you want to trade with your robot also. And at the same time, obviously, it confirms that the uh, trading and the robot is working. You just have to um, set it up for yourself and for your brokers. And uh, yes, there's a bit of work in it. If you want to buy the Profit Retriever, we have a link here for the Expert Forex, so you can go and find it there. Or you can go to the Expert Forex homepage if you want to have a closer look at more of the robots that are there. Definitely, um, we have come across many different uh, traders, so but we believe that Expert Forex is uh, the last one that we basically need to, to look at. So as you can see, over the last three months, we have had some extremely good and profitable results from the uh, Profit Retriever. And as Alex also has mentioned a couple of times, if he only had one robot to trade, it would be this one. Uh, we definitely tend to agree with him because I've never seen such stable results um, with so little effort. When I say little effort it is that we are not intervening from uh, Monday to Friday with the settings. We are only monitoring and with many of the other robots, um, obviously you are not supposed to intervene here either, but it's taking care of itself. It continues to do good profits and uh, simply take over day by day. Um, it is definitely a nice feeling to have when you are a trader that you can trust your robots, but it all comes back to exactly what I showed you before. Don't start setting things up here. So without knowing the robot first, without testing every single setting, so you understand what it means when you make changes, put them on live demo accounts. So trading $10,000 per robot and see how it goes. Play around with it and don't get too eager of uh, getting out and losing your own money. So this is quite important because you will lose the enthusiasm and uh, obviously your money will be gone and it's going to be harder to come back in. So do your homework first, make sure that you understand the EAs, 
have a look at our um, data also and I definitely encourage you to become a premium forum member with Expert 4X. It has certainly made things for, for me, for, for us, so that are working with this uh, a lot easier, that you have a lot of other traders to work with. You can see other settings, uh, what works, what doesn't. And when you think you have everything sorted out, somebody else is gonna come uh, with some news that uh, you didn't know happened and that will improve your trading even more. So what we are looking for on the Profit Retriever is reliability. We have seen that reliability and there is a risk because it is a higher drawdown robot than you will have on, for example, day trading. You cannot use this for FTMO trading. So basically trading other people's money. It will not be very good for that because it's very hard to regulate and um, cut off with the drawdowns it has. The robot is simply not set up for this. There you have to go and use the make money and the trend trader uh, day traders. So these are the robots for that. We have also tested those in the past and we really like the profit retriever here. So we think it has great potential and we will continue to uh, keep you informed and give you a review. So again, in a couple of months time of how this has developed. So for this time around, I hope you enjoyed the review and hope to see you on the next video or come by and have a look at our news report where we will post as always the uh, results for the week. See you around. Bye bye.